super windy. We just passed uh, getting to a Crowsness Pass. Up ahead, we have those beautiful lakes. They'll be on both sides of the highway. I had that in my previous video as well. Uh, when we went to British Columbia on the way back. Wow, the wind is powerful. So we are almost approaching the uh, British Columbia border. So there is in front of us British Columbia. So we just got outside of Sparwood and now we are beginning our second section of off-road. It's a little bit narrower by the looks of it. But so far not too dusty as before. Climbing the mountains. So this is our uh, battery, this is our route. That's fun. Way better than the gravel. And look how beautiful it's out here. We're gaining the elevation at the same time. Pretty amazing. cooler now it's warmer guys so we made to our half of the day half of the day or a little bit more than half of the day oh, more than half of the day more than half of the day we got uh, what 120 kilometers yeah, excellent location
here's uh, Robert and his uh, glue bus, <laughs> fat ass. And uh, this is my bike. I call him Tiny. 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 <laughs> and uh, there's Tom with his uh, Africa twin, the Queen. <laughs> Queen Latifa. <laughs> Queen Latifa. <laughs> well, we could camp here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Africa Queen. Queen Latifa. What are you doing? Putting battery on the charger. Inspector Gadget. Yeah, Kablix Montage. What does he <laughs> have here? Looks like a GoPro, lots of cables. Yeah. A lot of bullshit, a lot of junk. Is that the uh, drone? That's the mini. Okay, and there's some socks in there. Yep. I yeah. figure I'd better grab a pair of socks just for sleeping. We got water, we got fuel. We got just about everything. That's because Africa Queen has Papa. tiny little We even tank. have garbage bags. Oh, look at that. This guy brings everything. No wonder he weighs 500 pounds. Environmentally friendly. Okay, cool. Let's see. Let's see. It's rechargeable. Teraz nie pewnie nie będzie musiał sens działo, but oh, look at that. red lines. Oh, fancy. And then we get motion. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Nice. So we just had a little break and uh, we're heading through a mountain pass along the river. That's as close as we get to BDR. It's perfect. It's just perfect. Perfect and fun. So this is uh, basically one of my first off-road uh, adventure, multi-day adventures, because usually I just went for a day or just a few hours. And uh, this time we're heading on a multi-day and we couldn't pick any better timing, I guess because everything is right so far, as long as we don't get any heavy rain, like it is in the forecast. Oh, it's a beautiful. Look at the views. Moose! Moose! Hey Moose! Where are you? Right there! Come on boy! Go! 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 Into the forest! That's the beauty of living in Canada! Moose! Goat! Bears, everything is here. Sounds like lots of mosquitoes around here. Huh. What's going on? 
Joining it. So guys, another nice pullover with beautiful views. I'm not sure if you can see the GPS uh, where the location is. It's uh, you can see a little path between the mountains. Pretty awesome. Gotta let them go ahead a bit because I don't want to be the last guy in that big cloud of dust again. So I was waiting for this trip for a long time it was worth the wait just look at those views Oh, there must be a dam down here somewhere. Enjoy the moment. The cloud of dust. We're getting into avalanche area. 
And that's where the dam is. I wonder how big of a drop off there is. Oh my god, the road is rough. Uh, wow. Now we'll go and check out the dam, I think. That was pretty scary. I hit the big rock over my skid plate, I think. But I just ass assessed and there was no issue. Check this out. Awesome. Beautiful canyon. Wow. So we made through the first stretch so far and now we will be pulling over somewhere for the night uh, most likely we'll find the campsite if not we will go and look for something in the bush it would be nice to take a shower though after a whole day of being in the dust I don't think I was ever this dirty dirty bastard 23 degrees wow and it's getting already six o'clock but that was fun and the last stretch uh, we got into that big dam with the beautiful canyon down below that was quite spectacular and now it's staring at the mountain peaks again it's probably nice more much more nice views on, along the route that we went but unfortunately I have to concentrate on the road too much to stay alive but definitely it was worth it so actually we did manage to find something else at the end of the day <laughs> to check <laughs> ah, come on extra dose for the night Oh, check this out. Did you guys see that? There was an eagle just got a fish. There you go. He's flying this way. Not sure how... Uh... Oh, there we go. Nice. It's not an eagle. It's an osprey. Osprey. Yeah, he just got a fish. Huh? Yeah, he just got a fish. Oh, look at that. So we're gonna try to find a campsite here at Waza Lake in British Columbia. It's actually, we pulled quite a bit today. We did uh, 350 kilometers and most of that was off-road. Uh, maybe 60 was uh, on the road and uh, the rest was off-road. 
the boys are getting tired actually so it's time to crack the ram and enjoy the rest of the evening and tomorrow start another day wow i can't believe it it's still quite a few people here camping it's a uh, looks like it's a pretty decent sized lake on the map Waza Lake Provincial Campground oh, it looks quite decent here To jest pustry site, może jesteśmy, może są jakieś ten site, gdzie jest trawka. Słucham? Zależy się na tej wodzie? Nie, nie bardzo. Zobaczcie, jakieś lepsze miejsce znajdziemy. Ja to myślałem już tutaj o w tych drzewkach. Ja też. Jak pójdziemy gdzieś dalej, to tak zrobimy. A teraz oni są w ogóle jeszcze otwarci? Oni przyjdą i tam pisze, że they'll be collecting money, nie? Także tutaj przyjdzie ranger i zbierze kasę od nas. A to nie jest jakiś host? 